We are very grateful to Douglas for championing us and the industry in Parliament. The consultation shows good intentions from the government, but the devil is in the detail. The government must use this consultation to address real market barriers, which may prevent energy suppliers delivering fair market payments to the people who provide solar electricity to the grid. We look forward to a productive meeting with the Minister and hope our views and those of the industry are heard loud and clear. The government and these polities can be a good role model for our future generations to establish a sustainable energy demand and lifestyle. I visited EES Solar just before Christmas um, I'd had an invitation to go down and see what they do in their um, office down there. It's a great um, facility that we have in Forest of such a, a great local business who take the process right from planning through to constructing some of the solar panels and then installation and they're one of the few companies doing that in the north of Scotland and an award winning company at that. So I was very keen to get more involved in their campaigns around the solar industry and at business questions for the uh, industry energy and other sectors the ministers were announcing a consultation on solar power and I was able to uh, speak with the minister during that question session and ask her to meet with AES Solar uh, as a fantastic local business to hear their concerns about previous government consultations there was one about uh, feed-in tariffs where 91% of consultation responses said not to end uh, these tariffs yet the government decided to end them anyway so I think it's very important that we listen to people in the consultation and don't just consult for the sake of it. Um, and broadly, I, I think EES Solar and the industry welcome what's in this current consultation that runs until the 9th of March, but of course the devil is always in the detail, which is why I think it's really important that we get round the table, we hear from key stakeholders, and from my point of view as MP for Murray, EES Solar is one of those key stakeholders, uh, and that's why I'm delighted they'll be joining me in a meeting with Energy Minister Claire Perry.